<laughs> Guys, welcome to the extended review spoilers discussion. Be warned. For Final Fantasy VII Remake, I was thinking about wearing the full Tifa outfit, but I think I'm getting a little too comfortable in it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a ton of fun. Guys, uh, we had so much fun making the review, but boy, was it a nightmare editing. I had s more crashes than I remember in a long time. And a lot of the footage uh, need to fix that. <laughs> like was corrupt, I guess, because we were streaming like 16 hours at a time. It's hard to work with footage that big. Um, and so a lot of workarounds to do. So sorry about the review being a little late, but uh, we finally got it out. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things uh, that was <coughs> in the game. Now, Alex is a veteran of the franchise, and uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of your favorite games. And Joe I'm had rookie, no experience with it. Loved it. it. Loved it too. Went out and bought it. We are two brand new <laughs> fans. Where's my Final Fantasy fan card? Uh, the, the contrast oh. on that was blown out, so you didn't get to see my crude little drawings on it. But guys, I, I loved it. Uh, so I'm gonna give y'all an opportunity to talk since I already gave my opinion. What do y'all think of Final Fantasy VII Remake? Let's start with Joe. I thought it was beautiful. The way it was like done, the music. It had so much emotion, mm -hmm. but oh, I agree with you with the whole <laughs> fillers. Sometimes it was too much, and yeah. I noticed you didn't like them because yeah. you were like, all right, Joe, go ahead. <laughs> you pass it over. Well, when I'm I like, die, oh, I'd be like, oh, I, can't, I can't do that shit. No, again. there's some like, all right. It, the padding was pretty bad for me, Yeah, and I've gone back, and actually I'm playing the original, mm -hmm. and four hours in, I'm already out of Midgard. Yeah. And I see... Oh, like shit. A, I thought it was like six <laughs> to seven hours. It can be okay. if you take your time. He's rushing yeah, through yeah. it because he's like... <laughs> no, well, it was so much so much fun. But I did like... Um, uh, like I said, I did like the visuals and everything, how they kind of gave more lines to Jesse and everyone else except for yeah. Wedge. Since you actually played it. Uh, yeah. It's, they're like... They're side characters in the original, right? That doesn't mm -hmm. even matter. Here, yeah. like, I'm attached to them, you yeah. know? So, spoilers ahead. We will. We, we talked about this. In, it well, we'll talk about it in a second. Let's 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 finish. With yeah, it. and uh, that one, like I said, has more of an impact as yeah. opposed to the original. It's like, oh, I just met Jesse. Oh, mm -hmm. you're dead. This one is like, oh. Wedge. I was like, uh, hey, is dead. where's uh, my pizza, Jesse? You Rick. owe me my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and she was flirting with you. She's flirting with you so good. Like, I started to be on Team Jesse. <laughs> And by the end of this game, you're like, what the fuck? Right. What the fuck? Why the fuck does somebody like Wedge get to fucking live and Briggs get to fucking live and Jesse dies? Because he's good looking. No. Oh, okay. No, I need to see that <laughs> fucking ending again because on the counter, is it implying that maybe Jesse's still alive? Because if Jesse's fucking dead, I'm fucking pissed. Why would you t reverse things and, and keep Wedge alive? I I'm sorry, other job. But he's just a no. No, I agree. I Jesse. Like, I wish he would have done a little bit more. If you're going to keep him alive, give him something to do. All right. So I gave it a 9 out of 10. What would you give the remake if you were rating it? The same. A 9. Okay. Not a 10. No. Okay. And, and what about you, Alex, our Final Fantasy veteran? Uh, I'm conflicted. What? The problem with this game mm -hmm. is... So we, Final Fantasy seven is... There's no problem. <laughs> is... Is a game that I look back on with like double thick rose tinted glasses, right? Yeah. So like a lot of gamers in our generation hit me at the right age, the right time, yeah. played with friends, loved the story. It was really complex. I liked the combat. There, you know, there was everything about it. Just <coughs> again, rose tinted glasses. I know it isn't as great as I as I in my mind make it up to be. Mm. So there's this huge nostalgia factor. And so I think that this version of the game lived up to a lot of it and even surpassed the original in a lot of ways. Yeah. But then they made some decisions that as like the fan side, so the critic side of me was like satisfied because I didn't think I was going to like the combat and I did. The yeah. combat grew on me. Oh, yeah. And people were like, well, I want, I want turn-based or like, you know, where it's not, you know, um, like your reflexes don't matter as much. It's like, honestly, when I'm playing the game, mm -hmm. it's almost turn-based because yeah. I'm swapping between characters, yep. I'm pulling up items, I'm that building system. ATB on all the different characters. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I liked the combat. I think that what they me did, too. such an amazing job. So... My friends and I have been had the, you know, is it is it Aerith? Is it Tifa conversation? I mean, literally 20 years. <laughs> yeah, we didn't really talk about Aerith too much in my review because I was not on Team Aerith. She's so third. She's, 
<laughs> well, so the thing is, like, well, there Bar- it was like it was Tifa, and Barrett? then it was Barrett, and then it was probably Aerith. <laughs> but so now that we like, they did such a good job with the character design in this game that you turn people from like the nostalgia generation mm-hmm. that say Jesse is up in the running. Like they yeah, did such a good job with her character, fleshing out this like nonsense character that honestly, a yeah. lot when I was playing the first time, I didn't know Jesse was a girl. <laughs> There's like it was only like later on you're like, oh okay, where she's like commenting on her outfit, yeah. and I was like, all right, the outfit's nice yeah. or something. Why are we why are we doing this? I'm looking in the Pima <laughs> no, strategy guy. I was guide. totally Team Jesse uh, yeah. until I met Tifa. Yeah, <laughs> that that mature dress. Ooh boy. Yeah. yeah. So, so they it, you know as a, from the critic standpoint, like I loved that they that they're going in this interesting direction. But from like the fan standpoint, I thought that the story of Final Fantasy VII has enough twists and turns, and it's complex and has such and a rich already, cast yeah. of characters. And then what they did with it towards the end, where they're like, "This isn't enough," or "We want to do our own thing." It's like mm-hmm. that's really cool. You know what you can do with your own thing? Literally fucking anything else. Why <laughs> mess with Final Fantasy VII? Yeah. It's like this is something that we've been joking in the like the video game world that for twenty years, if Square's ever in trouble, financial trouble, they're just like, "We're going to remake Final Fantasy VII." You're talking about the Fate Destiny thing. Yeah, that kind of seems like it's brought from Kingdom Hearts and yeah, shit. Yeah, so it's like I, I love the story. I, I could not stop from playing the game before playing with you guys. I got mm-hmm. to chapter 16 before we sat down and yeah. played, which was the worst possible time because I love every second from chapter 1 to 16. There were padded okay. moments, but okay. Final Fantasy VII, the original, there's padded moments. Oh, yeah, there's, there's times grindy you're running bits. around and yeah. you're, you're like another encounter. That's why I say it wasn't that big of a deal for me. Yes, the three of the chapters yeah. kind of was a little pacing issues, but it's still better than the original in terms of pacing. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it, what you, would you give it? From like the, again the critic standpoint, maybe like a nine out of ten. But from a f- like if I'm looking at it purely as, am I excited? Do I want to play these other games? I'm way less interested because they took a story that I love that I wanted you two to experience, and they did not. So it's like I like loaning my favorite yeah, yeah, books yeah. to people. Mm. Well, the, the, the original's still there, Alex. We ran out and bought the original. Yeah, but I wanted this to be. I wanted them to kind of soup up one of my favorite sure. things yeah. and be able to experience and like watch you guys play. And mm-hmm. I didn't get to do that because they felt that the original story maybe wasn't good enough. They want to be beholden to it. I mean, the whole we can do anything that we want. It's like, yeah. well, I. That's not personally as what a fan wanted. So what is your fan rating? Critic, I, 9 out of 10. Fan rating? Like a 7 or an 8. Oh, because, like, sh- the, no. No. Well, absolutely so, not. The issue is not only did they not okay. they, they completely turn the story upside down. Now we have multiple timelines. We have multiple yeah. like, there's, so there's let's parallel talk, let's universes and stuff. And then now only not only did you change something, you're going to make me wait. Six, seven, eight years oh, to yeah. figure when out what you that told is. Me, when you fucking told me that this game... It blew my mind. And 15 to 20% of what the original game is. Yeah, this is like, wait, I'm out? What the (laughs) fuck is happening, right? But look, I I agree with, I I understand where you're coming from as a a hardcore original fan. You don't want it to change. You want it to be, wait, you want it to be badass, right? Enhanced. But from a new standpoint, since I don't have the context of the original, I don't have the nostalgia, I actually, man, I fucking hated the whispers at first those ghosts like it yep. was so annoying every fucking time they came up they didn't explain it till the very fucking end they tie it in with sephiroth which is by the way we didn't talk about sephiroth at all in the review because i wanted people to discover him on their own and i fucking love sephiroth he's a badass villain and i wanted to save him for this discussion mm-hmm. but they tie those whispers into sephiroth and and so and, and then they do something at the end where it appears as if there are alternate timelines in this thing. Yeah, different, di- yeah, different yeah. like multiple. Not it times. appears. It's definitely, it's definitely yeah. uh, alternate timelines because at the end, uh, Zach, who me and Joe have no fucking clue who this yeah, is. Yeah, I was like, wait, who's this? Yeah. <laughs> who is this guy? And he just he's walking past Cloud as if we're supposed to know what's going on. Now he has Cloud's sword. So I, I so I'm thinking is he a soldier the same way as Cloud's a soldier? And no, wait, but is that actually did he get it from Zach? My dumb we ass went to Drag Ball Z. I was like, oh, is that Super Saiyan one? <laughs> yeah, like what's, what's happening? Is he <laughs> power, powered down version? So we had none of the context, but then we figured it out later on. We bought the originals and and you know, and then I I had to do some lore research and shit. And Zach is fucking sweet. Yeah, he's cool. And his shit. game is really cool. Yeah, which and is, he's got his own game that you can go and play. But now what they're doing is he dies 
in in the original games and stuff and he dies and then cloud kind of steals his identity so to speak he wasn't like at the level that zach and sephiroth were but he, st he thinks he's zach in a way he takes all over all that stuff but because zach is dead but now at the end of this game it is implied that zach is alive cloud is alive multiple clouds are alive or something wedge is not dead though at the end wedge you hear him falling out of a window and he's like i just wanted to be useful and we're like, get out yeah, of here he, he, he could be he could he could he could still be alive jesse's alive. Briggs died but no Biggs died but no he's not dead because he's <laughs> he's bandaged up in the bed in which but dimension there's no fucking though? jesse I'm so mad over the she fact that there might be. What was on the table? Was it was, it was it Jesse's headband or Biggs's headband? Well, they both have a headband like that. Fuck! Like but but it was her. She had the she had the special gloves. And yeah. It was like her gloves. gloves. Yeah. Some, Fuck! I, well, she better be fucking implied to be alive. So basically, what they're doing is they're saying that now there's multiple timelines. And I went back and as I was editing through my 50 hours of footage, I was noticing that you know those those basic those guys in the hood and his name is like Marco or something. Yeah, the, and the it's clones. like. Those, guess what, Joe? Those are all Sephiroth. Those are all alternate versions of Fet Sephiroth. That's my theory. Oh, I know what they are. My yeah, theory yeah. is that, oh, oh, because you're an original fan. But I just think yeah, that they're the all the, Sephiroth the from alternate timelines because if you look at his face model, it looks extremely similar to Sephiroth. And at certain times, he even turns into Sephiroth at certain times yeah. in, in Cloud's mind. And basically, uh, there's one cutscene that says, reunification you know reunion. they're all trying reunion they're all trying to combine into you know get back together because they're all separated now and Sephiroth is doing that and he's like I you you explained something to me and I thought it was fucking genius where it's like Sephiroth knows he's gonna lose to Cloud because that's the way the original story is right in in a certain way and so what he's doing is he's trying to find a way where he can fucking win. So he goes into all these fucking, you know, different alternate timelines and tries so the whole to Doctor Strange thing. pick one where he fucking wins, right? Yeah. And this opens up so much opportunity. Now we get to possibly play as Zack. We get to play as Cloud. It's a fine line, though, because this whole time travel, <laughs> so, there's yeah. this timeline. It's thing. I understand. Tiny, wimey I understand. It doesn't always work. In most cases, alternate timelines suck balls, yes. right? But... I'm holding out hope. Magic. <laughs> I'm holding out hope that they can do it right this time, because I thought that that theory was awesome. And and so while these annoying fucking whispers, and then so you have all these whispers that turn into this massive boss, and this boss is trying to prevent the you know the events that are unfolding in this game from happening because it's changing shit, you know. And and when Cloud defeats that boss. He now, boom, opens up the game. Final Fantasy VII can go in any fucking direction they want for Final Fantasy VII 2, right? And you're not happy. But and, you, and you're but not happy. I'm not that. happy. So, like, logistics. So you want to play the same, the next few games in the exact same way Tweet? that you played it before. No, because what I want them to do is take the four to six hours of content and blow it into four, blow it up into forty hours. Like I mm -hmm. loved that how much they expanded the characters and you would get experience a city through like the the dialogue and the and the side quests. Mm -hmm. I want them to do that for the game. I want them to improve. They can change, you know, minor story beats, but maybe keep the same ones. Mm -hmm. You're talking about five, six games if they keep it the same. Now we have multiple mm -hmm. timelines. How many games are we going to have to go when we have Christ? Now we have Crisis Core 2. Zack's alive. Mm -hmm. So now we have to have Zack's Zach stuff that we've never had before. <laughs> no, they're so, going to put it into the Final Fantasy game. It's not going to be Crisis Core. It's going to be Final so Fantasy what they're gonna do, 2. What they're going to do is they're going to have to condense the stuff that I want to see mm -hmm. or disregard it entirely mm -hmm. because this can't be a 10-game series. It can be, but I don't know it's, if it's players not, are going to you know, <laughs> withstand that. Most people yeah. that I know that played Final Fantasy said that the intro of the <clears> game <throat> is wonderful, but the game really opens up and kind of comes into its own once you this game ends. And so all the oh, good stuff... no, no, no. Look, I'm a brand new player, and I was fucking hooked from the very beginning. Yeah, they did a really good they job They did that an part. amazing job starting you right in the action. The music was as if it was at the climactic end of yeah. you know any other game. Anyway, so I know that there's at least 49 realities. I'm taking notes here. Uh, Sephiroth, alternate dimensions. They're either clones or they're all Sephiroth, but whatever. It's, they're Sephiroth. They're clones. But uh, we saw 49 uh, uh, you know, tattooed on his arm, so there's yeah. at least 49 versions and 49 different realities. But what I want to know is what it means for the future. What do you guys think the next game will be 
Uh, who knows now? Okay. I don't know. I'll tell you, I, I think it's going to not just be the straight up remake of the Final Fantasy. Oh, yeah. They did they, uh, pretty the clearly. Next, the next uh, section of Final Fantasy, it's not going to be that. Now, I, uh, I'm for, you know, there is a moment. Uh, we are in the spoiler section. Yes. So, this whole so, thing and this is a 20 year this old game. This whole thing is spoiler. Aerith dies. Okay. <gasps> and Se Sephiroth kills Aerith. And this is no. a huge moment in gaming where it really affected a lot of people. It was one of those shocking moments. You know, this nowhere. is before all the main characters start dying in Game of Thrones and all these other shit. So it was like a big ass fucking moment. So. Now that it's alternate timelines and people are alive and people are dead, but then they die, but now they're alive again, is it going to have the same impact when Sephiroth drives his this, fucking sword through Aerith and, you know, our new players like us going to, you know, like, feel well, let's what just you go felt. to this timeline where right. she's still where alive. she's still alive. So this doesn't matter. I That's want her to, I know it sounds bad, but I want her to die. I need that moment to still be exactly. intact. I like and that. I don't want her in a bunch of different dimensions. Mm -hmm. I want her just one. Exactly, because I like that whenever there's an impact. It's like, oh, no, yes. you feel for that character. Yeah. Now it's just like, I don't care. Like no, in let's, the go, <laughs> let's go to the next yeah. one. This timeline, she's still alive. It's fine. Right. That we sucks. can fix it. We can fix it. And and, it, and you takes away the agency. You take away the tension. You take away all yeah. this stuff. And that's what Alex is touching on that he's concerned about is when you do that, like all the shit is gone. All the agency is gone. All the feelings are gone. And man, when Jesse was dying, like I, you saw it in the review, guys. Like I was tearing. I was like, no, this is fucking bullshit. And this is a side character in the game. Did, that was not I did not care about. Didn't it. even know. Yeah. She was a girl. Anyways, so how many games do you think it will take? I want y'all to make a prediction right now. If this is fifteen to twenty percent, will it take five to six games? Seven. I mean, shitty pessimistic me is going to say that there's going to be four games. Four games. Okay. At two years each, you know, if, if you're thinking between five and six, luckily you said four, between five and six, that's going to take eight to ten years. I am not, I do not want to wait eight to ten years. I think, so seven, three, or four, I'm going to say three games tops. <laughs> that's as much as they can stretch this out. I prefer it to just be two, actually. I think that they can. There's, there, it's just there's too no much. Fucking way. No fucking way. There's, you're talking too much in 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 the last game. This, so like, the thing is, like, if they were gonna do it in two games, I don't know all these other characters because I haven't got there. In yeah, the like, version. not only is there an incredible said, amount of characters and content, and there's there's like, name me one cool badass guy that I have not seen. You don't yet. know who Vincent is, and Vincent's no, one of the badass. Like, <laughs> yeah. So like, there's so many cool things okay. that you that you haven't done yet, and it's fine if they want to do something different. Uh -huh. The issue is that some people had it's like, why call it? Final Fantasy VII remake, uh -huh. like they, it was advertised in a kind of a peculiar way. Well, because way. if it put Episode One, I wouldn't have bought the fucking shit. Just I would have been pissed. Yeah. Fuck Just that. But yeah. guys, okay, so two to three games tops. So that's between two to four years before this whole. Story that's why I was arc like, man. Complete. Whenever you guys told me, it's like, well, we're gonna have to wait like years for it. I was like, right. I'm just gonna go get the older one and find out what happens. Exactly. Same here. Maybe that's what doesn't matter. Square Enix was betting I know it doesn't on. Doesn't matter. So but I looked at a recent news article and they said that the producer still doesn't know how many games it's gonna take. Like. And that worries me because it's like that means the story's not fleshed out. That means they haven't finished writing. As you know, like Babylon it keeps Five. Money. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. And that's a danger. That's yeah. dangerous. All right. Anyways, guys, so let's uh, talk a little bit about some of the things I kept out of the fucking review, the spoilers. So uh, the cross-dressing uh, cloud, that was a hilarious. I was not expecting that. There are so many moments in this game I was not expecting, and I wish I could see y'all's faces when you get to it. Yeah. Uh, like the Hell House. Hell House was the coolest oh, shit. I, so I'm in the arena. I remember this, the Hell Houses because there's a lot of like goofy creatures yeah. or like goofy random encounters yeah, you get in the first game <laughs> but when you're sitting in the arena and you're like you don't know what's happening and this house comes out it's like yes this is perfect yeah and that that fight was long it, and was, it was long as i was engaging. not ready for that fight because i didn't have like all of the different schools of magic ready to go it's like this sucks it was fucking awesome. So, and then, and I tried to zoom in so that you guys wouldn't see it in the review. The Hell House, I kind of hid. I kind of hid the cross dressing from uh, Cloud, who uh, this one guy, I forget his name, thinks Cloud is so sexy. Oh, like Andrea? Andrea. Oh, no, Roche. No, Ro no. 
I'm talking about the 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 creepy guy who controls all this shit. In the, oh, Andrea, yeah, yeah. So and and then he chooses Cloud, the honeybee stuff. I did show some of that just because it was so awesome, and it's like a dancing mini games, and, and to see Cloud like yeah. pumping his chest. <laughs> this is a guy who's like a fucking jerk the whole fucking game. He's like an asshole, <laughs> right? But he's a you know he's a lovable asshole. He's, you could see that under his tough exterior, even though he's got problems in his brain, some PTSD. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a good guy at heart, and so to see. And find, you know, do a smile loosen or two, up. and then loosen up. I fucking loved it. And then the moment the where it's like, your thrust. ass is fine, wedge. <laughs> that was funny. The and squats then, are amazing too. The squats, yeah. <laughs> the, so that mini game, Joel fucking <laughs> wrecked. Oh, well, the first one, the second one, you couldn't <laughs> feel. Oh, you can't beat Jules. Can yeah, yeah. Jules yeah. But I gotta say that Joe and I both uh, killed in the darts game. And Joe did like six darts. Uh, and he conquered all <laughs> of the exercise ones except for that very last one. Stupid pull-ups. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so those were cool little spoilers. And then another spoiler, big one, Sephiroth, right? So you do get to fight him in this game. And I'll ask you, did you get to fight him that early mm -mm. with this massive boss battle? No. So as we were ending towards the game, you had this stupid motorball boss battle, which pissed us off, right? And it kind of sagged this, this great upward trend. Uh, and then we fought all the whispers in uh, that were mimicking mm -hmm. us, these three whispers and bosses and then a massive boss in the battle. It was a boss gauntlet, but one that I, I, I'm all right. And I was like, please don't end on that. I was so worried it was going to end on that. But then fucking here comes Sephiroth. He's got one wing. I'm like, what, why does he have one wing? That was never it's explained. Flying in a circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that battle was fucking awesome. Nice. And it was a perfect way to end the game. And I was like, yeah, it might be fan service and everything, but it was perfectly done. And so I really enjoyed it. And I was like, oh, my God, I can't wait to see where the story goes with Sephiroth and have an even better boss battle. I don't know how they're going to top all this stuff, but they need to top all of it. So. Any other spoilers uh, from the game uh, that we could talk about? No, I, I think we pretty much covered it all. Um, mm -hmm. Let me let me jump into some missed review elements that I wasn't able to talk because I didn't. The review was already forty minutes, and I didn't want it to get any longer than forty minutes. But uh, well, the feature. AI on teammates. What do you feel about your I had, AI? Teammates? I had no issue with it. No so issue. like I watched Dell play it. Um, and Del had some concerns that he the was AI a he bit. wasn't he wasn't able to get the AI to do what they wanted to do, and I think that this comes. And I down saw that in other reviews too, complaining about it. But for me, I was like, "What? Just switch to him." I had issues with it for the first little bit. I was like, "Why aren't they doing anything?" Right. And then as I'm using the triggers to quick switch to them and do all these other things, it's like, "Oh, mm -hmm. hey, this is yeah, a game so where you may accidentally have." ice and elemental equipped to Tifa mm -hmm. and she's punching something that heals when you do ice damage so the game doesn't want you to like <laughs> massively screw something up yeah. and so if, as long as you get you once you get used to the combat I didn't have an issue with it I mean, it I does kind of suck yeah. when they're, they're they're not building ATB as fast as you want them to yeah, yeah. it just incentivizes you to switch over and I didn't have a problem so another There's element some items you could use for that too mm -hmm. yeah. so another element we didn't get to talk about in the review is the branching dialogue in, in a certain sense the more you talk shit to somebody or if you don't like actually say you like them and things mm -hmm. like that you're going to get different cutscenes. Yes. I wanted to mention that in review I thought that was cool because it adds to repeated playthroughs now it's not quite as elaborate as I'm hoping for and maybe in future games since they can go in any direction they can make this more elaborate and have the cutscenes really I actually mean, branch in one of the ways. things that was incredible about the original is that it's was basically outfits Okay, hot ass Tifa outfits and hot ass, you know. Well, I mean, it also de determined who got to fight against the f uh, fate because there were times where certain characters would get to. F you had four characters present, but mm -hmm. you only got three of them, and depending on your relationship, th that would determine who shows up in the fight. Yep. And now this is stuff that happened in the original Final Fantasy VII, like little innocent dialogue. There's one scene in a train where Jessie's dressed up as a train conductor, and she asks you what you think of her outfit. And if you choose the <laughs> wrong thing, you may not be able to take Tifa on that date later in the game. Yeah. And That's what I was about. I don't know if I yeah. messed up already. And so, like, there's there's Im there's impact. And I, again, as looking back through rose tinted glasses, I was like, man, that was really cool that some little dialogue thing had changes yeah. throughout the game later on. I mean, some I of it was just it. cosmetic, but it was great. But now yeah. you have the whispers. Um, the fuck whispers. Yeah, and and <laughs> another element I missed in the review is Chadley. We didn't get to talk about Chadley, this yeah. little kid. He's like from Shinra. He's a bad guy, but he's not because he works for Shinra. But he kind of works for himself. 
and there's something with Chandler. I, I guarantee there's there's he's either a, a god or or something. He's a summon. I don't know what's going on with Chandler. Do do you know? Does is he revealed in the fi- original Final Fantasy? Who the fuck this kid is? Mm-mm. How is he so powerful? How is he getting all these summons? Anyways, but I love Jeez. these VR missions because yeah. you can get you know all these different summons now. Uh, you know, and I can't wait to go back and and uh, you know in the original game and see if there's is there more summons? There's a ton more that we didn't in the get ori- to. So that's what I was thinking. No, I'm talking about in the original game. Are all the ones from the original game in this remake? No, not see, even close. So that's a that's a thing that might be a little less cool as as the original. So while the remake does its characters better, I think there's two elements in the original that does better. With my limited knowledge, is it's it, more summons, well, more a, items, more, more early things. in the game. Exactly, mm-hmm. and it, since it's six times longer obviously there's going to be more summons but here's a big thing and and alex pointed this out to me or i asked him a question he goes no you you in the original you get to choose your party members Mm -hmm. like in this one they for they force you like some segments you have tifa some segments you have Aerith, and and then other times you 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 get red so there's this guy party right now so there's the exactly (laughs) see so so in the story there's this fucking badass like alpha wolf (laughs) cat lion thing and he can talk and it sounds so fucking badass but in the game i was like who the fuck is this guy and he comes in you don't ever get to control him and he's like and i'm like "Mm, no right but everybody in my chat was going crazy like red third this and that and i was like oh because I bet you in the original, like, you get to identify with him more because you get to fucking control him. He was him. the first character uh, So I think they the fucked game. that up, that you don't get to control Red. Mm-hmm. Why put him in the game and we don't get to fucking control I, him? Hey, hey, member. It's just like, hey, hey, hey member. Hey, this guy. But see, like I guy. think they fucked up the, the reveal of Red and, and they could have done a little bit better on that. So yeah. and now I left that out of the review because I wanted you guys to... You know, see Red for yourself and 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 meet him. Uh, so I think the original probably does that better. But of course, they're just gonna save Red for the next game, and you're gonna be able to control Red for the next game. Um, that's that's pretty clear. And the cat. Yes, I I haven't gotten to the cat yet. We did see you the cat see, in a country. You see him fall to his knees, yeah. and then like both of you are like, "What the fuck Who is that?" The fuck and I was like, "Yes." Because I thought this was supposed to be like, there's no like animals like talking. I was like, "Wait." Yeah. What was what, that? What is that? Yeah. So, so another thing that the game doesn't really explain, I guess it saves for other sequels, and I'll have to ask Alex on this. It's like, uh, is is that lady Sephiroth and Cloud's mother? So Sephiroth and Cloud are brothers. Geneva. G- yeah, Genova? Uh, Genova. Genova. And sh- like, what is going on there? I don't understand because they don't explain it at all. No, they don't, and they like, don't really explain it in the original Final Fantasy at this point of the game either. You just know that in this game, we don't. From from what we've played so far, you know that many thousand years ago or generations ago, ancients used to live on the planet, mm-hmm. and then Genova came out from space and. Almost all of them are gone now, but they but she was defeated, and then she. Yeah, was, I thought she was an ancient herself, but she's like just a space alien. Alien, like the destroyer, pretty much. Okay. And so they, the Shinra company finds her encased in ice. Mm-hmm. I think it was encased in ice. They bring her there, and they start. They're like, "Wow, this thing is so far beyond our DNA. Let's just start injecting people with stuff and that see what happens." Crazy scientist, what's his name? Hojo. 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 Which, Good, good bad guy in the first one, but X, like, he, I hated him yeah, in this Joe, playing. I Anytime he was talking, it was like, his mouth I, I want to kill wanna, you. Yeah. I want you to die so bad. Perfect. Punch him so they did a throat. really good job with the characters there. And we but, don't even get to fight him, so I cannot wait to kill his I ass. I mean, the, the, the answer to all Final Fantasy lore questions at this point without spoiling something is, it's complicated, but yeah. no... Cloud and Sephiroth are not... They're not brothers. They're, they're, they're linked. Everyone is kind of linked, but they're not brothers. That's not... It's mother because it's been dead for thousands of years, mm. but they're connected. Yeah. And you'll see why. I, I don't understand what Sephiroth wants. By the end of this game, I don't get it. He wants it. to destroy everything. Yeah, you don't... You have no the idea. promised yeah. land. I, I don't understand. And that was the one small <clears throat> missing detail that I was like, oh, okay, maybe I'll discover I mean, this, this in the original game and shit. You so, will. You yeah, definitely okay. will. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Um... I fucking love this game. I am now a fan of Final Fantasy VII. I totally understand what people have been talking about for the past 20 years. We got the original. Um, years, son. I know. Years. We, that sucks. 
fuck? Yeah. And I was going back and I was watching my original review. Final Fantasy 13 was 2010. And my voice is all like, <laughs> breaking a little, little kid, basically talking about how much this game sucks. I don't understand why people like Final Fantasy. And then Final Fantasy, what was it, 15 that came out. I was like, all right, it's a little better kind of boy band thing. And But no. Final Fantasy VII is where it's at. And now I want to. I want them to remake uh, the others. I want them to go and remake. What's what's next? Eight? Nine? Not, ten? Not eight. What's another? Not eight? I didn't. <laughs> so, like, I didn't give eight a fair chance. Like, a lot of people. Again, the, the curmudgeon Final Fantasy VII fans didn't give eight a shot because eight wasn't seven, but they were mm-hmm. kind of doing their own thing. But there was, like, time jumps and stuff in eight that's like, I don't. I don't want this because I don't like time jumps. Mm-hmm. And now it's in Ooh. my Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. And Wait I, don't, a minute. <laughs> I don't like this. So eight, eight's fine. I think nine was better than eight. But we're eight. probably not going to get any of those because they're going to be focused on, on this Final one for Fantasy a decade. seven for the next fucking eight years. So, yeah. Oh, man. I just wish they could have done it in one game. That would have been a 10 out of 10. It would have been hundreds of hours long. So the original (laughs) game was hundreds of hours long. That fucking game is a 10 out of motherfucking 10 legendary rating, the original. And this one is a 9 out of 10. And it's because of all those elements that we just Mm -hmm. talked about combined together. Uh, While Alex doesn't like the story and kind of the changes in the Destiny and Fate. I just don't like the changes in the very end. I do. By the end, I do. Uh, But I do think there's huge potential for them to fuck it up. And uh, I'm just very interested to see which direction they go next. Yep. And that's it. So chapter by chapter breakdown on which chapters worked, which ones didn't. I think all of them work except for three have some main problems. The last two for you. Uh, the chapters that didn't work for me, I already told you all in the review. Joe, did you have a problem with any particular chapters? Which ones? If you can remember Sec- off the top of your head. Uh, sections. Just talk yeah. about the sections that they are, not the actual chapter numbers. It's hard to remember. Yeah, I don't remember that Did one, you like the ghosts? I, I, no. No. Oh, the, yeah. the, 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 ghost. the train yard? Yeah. It's, it, yeah oh, that yard. one? Oh, I love okay. it. I like that one. The whispers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't no, know. that was oh, fine, yeah. but uh, the platform. But they were yeah. bringing it down. Section that one, HG, that's the one I pointed out in the review. Yeah, because I know you were playing it, and you were getting tired. You pass it over. Well, it's the like, second time I'd done it. It's like, I don't want to do yeah. this anymore. Yeah. yeah. No, and then, really and then once fun. you get through all those sectors, then it's like, oh, there's one to shut down. No, now there's four to shut down. And then I'll like, yeah, come on. And then now you have to go all the way back because and you can't miss that summon materia. And then it's just like, better. come on, stop it. Yeah. But it, in its defense, the original has sections oh, like yeah. that that sure. are like Final Fantasy games. You can get stuck in these. It's like We're well, talking play- about this one, though. So yeah. I understand that because, yes, we're going to defend it all day long because the original was worse than this one for sure. The first sewers I had fun with. The second time we went to the sewers, they kind of extended it by having that little dude steal something from you and you had to chase his ass. God damn it. Get your fucking ass over here. But ultimately, I kind of still like that section because it was like I wanted to kill him so bad. And then you fight a boss again. You well, fought, there's fight like this father. other character there leslie that you don't know anything about this guy he looks like a doorman mm-hmm. of the you know the dons it turns out he's got a really interesting story you start yeah, to care cool about guy. him he's a super nice guy he helps you out and i hope just, we see leslie again do we yeah. see or is that done leslie's done yeah you're I not gonna tell me i, I don't remember like he would have to be such an insignificant if he's in the original he does not matter to the story mm-hmm. but they did that they did that so well in this one where they take these characters that you don't care about and they become yeah. they they turn yeah, into I something amazing because there was only one guard Right. Oh, he would have been in the Midgard section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's not there. Um, or he's a very limited. Uh, uh, and they faithfully recreated that boss battle that's on the bridge. I was like, you know what? That's not that's not really the best boss battle because there's no room to really maneuver because it's on such a tight bridge. But, hey, it was that way in the original, so mm-hmm. they put it in there. I thought that was kind of cool that it, it's almost exactly like the original. Yeah, they paid a lot of respects to the original except for, you know, the important thing like the story. Yeah. And then, <laughs> no. <laughs> the, what's that guy's name? The evil general commander. You know, he's like the Hed- commander of the force. H- uh, Heidegger. Uh, so- he, you know, people were like, you should dress up as him. Maybe. Be, but in this one, he didn't really do much. We need a $500 jacket. Yeah. I don't know. Well, we'll see. In in Final Fantasy, you know, seven two remake. If you fight him, we can maybe do that in the future. Just want to let you guys know. Um, we'll get you a white coat with forty five belts on it. And you can be Rufus. 
Oh, God. No. Fantastic intro to the game. The boss, Aerith, and Sephiroth are introduced relatively early in the second chapter. And then the third chapter, Tifa, and all the story stuff comes. Uh, but, you know, I, I never got an explanation for why Tifa is so fucking powerful and how, why is she so tough. And all is there's one line in the game is, oh, I learned how to take care of myself. She, she's trained. You, you do get so some. God damn, Tifa, you're like the most powerful fucking fighter in all of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, she's been training in martial arts pretty yeah. much her entire life. And you do get some of it in some of the other games. Um, okay. And so she's got materia. So, like, materia is really, oh, really okay, cool stuff. Right. So, like, she's got materia in her stuff. So, like, people, like, those th- random thugs. Superpowers. But, like, that pretty much is what it does. And so yeah. she's got, she's equipped. It's like the, the Turks. The Turks aren't super soldiers, you know, Re- uh, mm-hmm. Reno and, and Rude, mm-hmm. but they just have insane equipment. They've got access to all the material that they yeah. want. And so that stuff really amps you up as like a, as a person. Super so super. also magic because yeah. the game wouldn't work if, if she wasn't <laughs> I, so powerful. I am looking forward to facing Reno, Rude, even Roche again. Uh, Rude, saying, you got to have yeah. your rematch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, what? yeah. And then um, what was it? Ton, Tonberry? <laughs> <gasps> yes. What the hell was that? Who loved that because I, I have don't, you don't that? remember that, that the little uh, baby Yoda with a chef knife? I'm yeah, yeah, no, no, I fucking love yeah, that. Yeah, I was looking for him. That was like one of the hardest enemies. Ah, <laughs> he was kicking our fucking. Well, ass. I was like, oh my if god, this is so cute. Kill. You're dead. Wait, what I had that? No, no issue because I'd played it before in the original game, and I know that if he attacks you, so you just have to like fucking run dead. away from <laughs> that dude forever. Awesome. And then if he ever blinks away, then just start rolling in a different direction so he doesn't kill you. So. <laughs> So. Uh, and, okay, and then so uh, you know, towards the end, we so we get a little bit of the ghost stuff. We get the um, uh, we do get a change, like Barrett dies, but then he doesn't die because the uh, he gets revived because of the whispers and the yeah. ghosts and the fate thing. Uh, Sephiroth is not really Sephiroth. It's like, hold on, so it's like Geneva posing as Sephiroth in this tentacle-like monster and then kills the president as Sephiroth. So the president is dead and then his son is this VP guy. And Rufus, comes yeah. Rufus comes. That battle was what fucking the? awesome. Like, it was kicking my ass. Rufus, over yeah, Rufus is cool. And, uh, which, uh, you must have named your dog after, right? No, no. No, <laughs> no it's probably, you know, George Carlin from uh, Bill and Ted. Oh, I got you. Okay, well, and you know, how you have to fucking learn how to counterattack. You have to look at boss tells to, you know, and you have to, you know, try to unlink the two because it's, it's yeah, pretty it's clear huge, that there's a yeah. little uh, link between the two. But I just love finding out these boss battles, finding out the intricacies to them. And I thought, like, almost every single boss battle was extremely well done, except for the motorball one. And that one was terrible. Reason, yeah, that was the only reason why is because you're not in the traditional. You're not given your abilities. Yeah. You're 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 forced into two abilities. It's the slash and the spinny thing yeah. from your fucking motorcycle, and it went on too long. Like if it Barry was shorter, could have been shooting fine. something. Every, yeah, they all could have been on, doing Barry. something. Oh yeah, and that little piece of shit car, right? But they <laughs> that, that thing was not a piece of shit. That thing is indestructible. It like flew <laughs> out of a building, and then it was but shot they, at. But they and, heal yeah. the characters though. That, yeah. That's that was what they were doing, but they weren't healing us enough. And we were dying over and over, and it uh, it kind of sucked on there towards the end. But it was made up for easily uh, by that Sephiroth final battle and shit. Well, you touch on materia. Materia is something that was really important. Like it was one of the first times I'd ever played a game that you got to fully customize your character beyond like I want to be a fire mage. Mm-hmm. It's like you get to go and do anything that you want. Yeah. And even in this game, there were combinations that were that are like borderline it's broken. Sh- yeah, it breaks the game. Like the one that we figured out the healing. That does an area effect yeah. healing, and you combine and you level up that materia. So then you give it to your most powerful one that can just like bear it or something that can dish it out all the fucking time. And then we have so little of the actual materia that was in the base game. It opens up and there's so many more combos and uh-huh. having the links. Sp- like there are ones yeah. like uh, Demi that just just say like I'm just gonna half your hit mm-hmm. points. And you're finding something with like seven million hit points. You're like this fight is a lot easier. So if you see Bam. other review scores, maybe it's because they didn't find out. Like chat was kind of helping us out with some different materials from time to time when I would die over and over. They was like do this and that and I was like oh, oh man this is night and day difference. So if you see some lower review scores it might be like fuck this comments fucking suck they didn't buy the Fuck strategy boss guide. battle <laughs> right they, well there's no strategy guides anymore really uh, that the original one i think is like 100 bucks 150 bucks oh collector's item yeah okay cool maybe get that from my library because mm-hmm. i'm like a mega fan i'm serious i'm a fucking mega fan it, yeah it was wonderful anyways there's this one thing uh, i was kind of confused about 
So there's this whole timeline thing now with mm-hmm. the Final Fantasy. Fuck it. Yeah. In the grave, in the train, in the railroad thing, you see Marlene as a ghost. Yes. Yeah. So what, what's that? Was that a uh, premonition? The ghost, the, the or ghost was like, is that a different know. timeline? They, they were just taking the, uh, they're taking like the shape of yeah. things that you're familiar with and uh, like te- helping you that way. Okay. I was terrified because I mean, he's like, oh shit, Marlene's dead. Like, I, okay. all this other yeah. stuff. But no, that was like, like, man, this is going to hit me hard. different timeline, did Marlene die? I was like, wait. Yeah. But, it's okay, horrible. Good. good, good to know. Um, you know, I, I I looked ahead a little bit. We we haven't seen how they're gonna end it, but we did see red in the future. It's not red. It's like red sun or something like that. That's actually towards... one of the from the original ending of the original right. game. Is you see that scene? Yeah, because like eventually, you know, they go it, to Cosmo it, It's Canyon. overgrowth and it takes back over because they stop using Mako because it's hurting the planet and yeah. shit. But there's like some crazy ass stuff with like robots and shit. Like this fucking then you got to stop a robot or. I don't weapons. know, and then a fucking asteroid, and then meteor. you gotta shoot this fucking meteor, or whatever asteroid meteor, and the planet can do its own thing. Like I, I don't know how they're gonna do any of this. Well, you're not fuck. going to. They're gonna they're finish. Going they're gonna to. like. So the thing is, that's why I'm, I'm saying they is are like, totally going to. Sephiroth is gonna bring the fucking meteor in, in two in two. Yes, but in two games, in two more yeah, games, you think we're gonna get all they, of the weapons? They. They can truncate <laughs> they some of this stuff. They don't have to stretch it out every if fucking game. If it makes game. money, they're going so, to stretch but th- it out. That's, what the, that's the issue I've got, right? Is like They took this part, and they stretched it out, and they did a wonderful job stretching everything mm-hmm. out. And that's what I want for the rest of the game, where they can actually develop so all of these things. So you want it to take six games? I, yeah, I do. Eight games. I don't want okay. it to take eight years, but I want them to be oh, working on it. two years minimum for each. No, I think that if they, if they could put... They, if if they, if it's commer- if financially successful, they could do it in probably four to six years. If they you do think six a one-year development cycles on each of these games? Yeah. Now, nah, with how much motion capture, with how much like elaborate these cutscenes, and I gotta say, guys, like this is not simply you know the original uh, text pops up and they're all standing and they they move and yeah. no that like the camera's dynamic. It's like you're fucking watching a movie yeah. the whole fucking time, but you're playing too. So like it is. Every fucking Final Fantasy fan's dream. Because Final Fantasy has always had like, <laughs> cutscenes <laughs> mm-hmm. that are amazing, but they're separate from the gameplay. Yeah. But now they're like one and it's and they're and in addition separate from the gameplay. <laughs> yeah. So it's fucking great. And okay. So anyways, uh yeah. Now cut this into the rest of the stuff somehow in an awkward way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Check check out the original ending. Final Fantasy what Seven, do you guys. guys think? <laughs> what do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. You better fucking say it's awesome because that shit was cool. And and I understand that maybe my experience is a little better because chat was helping me and chat was excited. And as they were walking, you know, I'm wondering if I played on my own, would I identify with these characters or what I think the dialogue is all cheesy? You would I see, love Jesse anyway. I see a anyway. few people in you know when they talk about this, this is fucking stupid. Like the dialogue sucks and like these characters suck. I'm like, no, you suck. Like you. I think if you actually invest yourself and put some time and actually, you know, make an effort, then you'll fall in love too uh, very easily. And it's much more easy to fall in love now. Sure. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I I didn't like Tifa just. Okay. Uh, There's obviously two big reasons why people like Tifa. But I actually like the way she. Yeah. That's what I'm fucking talking about. The combat. What did you think I was talking about? Yeah, she got really perverts. Like, she's so fucking awesome to play with. Sure, you can. Just Whispers. awesome. So, really uh, a massive fan now, Perhaps hoping for the next game, and I want the producer to figure it out. I need to know how many games there's going to be, and can can they actually deliver on this lofty ass, uh, you know, promise? They're rewriting one of the most important video game stories in my life. Like, I, I do not see a lot of. Which is an exciting time, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but it's like like we were. It's the same thing as Picard and like all oh, the other no, new new don't, Trek don't. and new Star please Wars. Don't. And so it's like, where do you go if you're already up please here and that's where the franchise it. is? Where are you going? Stop it. Oh, 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 where where can you Stop go? It. Oh, straight <laughs> to the goddamn gutter. Right. And so that's not. I, I don't want that. Okay, I don't want that either. Uh, but anyways, guys, leave your comments down below. We're just. Very excited, high on the series yeah. right now, we and Square Enix, you did an awesome, amazing I job, and I can't wait for Congrats. more. Congrats. Congrats. Keep All Kingdom right. Hearts out of my game. And keep Kingdom <laughs> Hearts out of Alex's game. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.